I'm <laughs> I'm just trying to be able to say something because first of all I'll start by saying that there's dignity in labor. For so long, the entertainment industry has been pondering a question that has risen in everyone's mind. Why is it that Uche Nancy, a remarkably talented and industrious woman, found herself in a challenging position of being a single mother and raising her four children all by herself? This enigma revolving around a woman who has contributed significantly to the world of film and entertainment has left many in the industry deeply curious and searching for answers. Well, if you are currently on this page, watching this video right now, then you will soon to be shocked by the reason. Uche Nancy is a brave, respected and industrious woman who has faced numerous challenges throughout her life. Despite these difficulties, she has persevered and all the public now sees is a kind and successful woman. The truth behind the circumstances lies in a little known fact. Watch out. Like many young couples, Uche Nancy's journey began with a beautiful family consisting of herself, her husband and her four lovely daughters. However, in those days, divorce was uncommon and societal pressure to have a male child was overwhelmingly prevalent in African homes, a reality that still persists in many cultures across the continent. In African homes, especially within Nigerian Igbo culture, there has been a persistent societal pressure to have a male child, an expectation that continues to exist in many cultures across the continent. For the Igbo tribe, having a male child is seen as a compulsory responsibility for a married woman. In this context, the male child symbolizes the family's inheritance and carries the responsibility of continuing the family's legacy. Upon marriage, a woman's prayer is often centered on having a male child as a married woman or wife who doesn't bear a male child is seen as sitting on a one-leg chair within the marriage. In such cases, she can be thrown out of the house at any given time. Even in cases where the husband loves his wife and wishes to keep her despite having only female children, his family members may still force her out of her matrimonial home. Moreover, regardless of the husband's stance, the woman and her children are often banned from inheriting their father's property. At that time, Uchenansi was among the many women facing societal pressure to bear male children. She found herself in a difficult situation, blessed with four lovely daughters but without a male child. As a result, she and her children were kicked out of her matrimonial home. She was an abandoned woman. Do I want to have girls? Today the girls are precious stone. Uchenansi's struggles truly really began following her marriage dissolution. She relocated to Asaba with her young children, marking the start of a challenging journey that ultimately shaped her and her family's future. I want to start from our Iyabi house when we were living, like where we stayed living in Asaba. We were struggling basically. We wanted to move out of the house, but we needed a push to move out of the house. And that push came from somebody coming to rob us at night that we. We were, we, were, we were sleeping when that thing happened and we woke up the next morning and we, we realized that somebody came into the house and they robbed us. And that was what pushed us to get a new place, which is where we're staying. As a young woman with her four daughters, Uchenansi struggled to survive in a new town. However, through divine guidance, she found her way into the Nollywood industry, where she started as an assistant costumer. Eventually, she advanced to becoming a costumer and ran other side businesses to support herself and her children. Uchenansi owned a boutique selling female wares and also pursued various hostile side hustles to make ends meet. Through her unwavering work ethic, she persevered, creating a masterpiece from life broken into pieces for herself and her children. Together, they not only survived but thrived. Let me even start from. Um, let, me even, like, let me take it back to 20, 2015, yes. When. Mommy decided to start YouTube and everything. It's not been easy. Like just we're just there and we're trying to like talk about like our past, where we used to live. A lot has happened, guys. If we start talking about it, we might not even go. But mommy is a strong woman. She's a strong woman. And another thing I want to say is that God is real. Because I remember times where we would like come together, we will pray, we will tell God that we are trusting Him because we know that He's the only one we have, He's the only one we can trust. Now mommy has cars, like cars. The car we used to have, I remember when we were going to work then, this car would be flooded. When I mean flooded, like really, really flooded. When we get to maybe certain place, mom will ask tell us that we should all take our legs up so that 
maybe our legs will not be like muddy or something because what i mean see you will not understand it maybe if they can go back to take pictures or video it's, it's dry season now so you might not even know what i'm saying i remember one incident recently my first ever lead room because as china said this thing she said mommy thank you for believing in us i remember that film labor of love maybe if you could check on youtube you might see it when i did that movie now some of you will say ah when Sonia is crying i feel like crying with that it's my heart then she has not to come out though. <laughs> people will say mommy came she was like they say i don't know how to act and i remember because i was feeling so bad this is my sister Ijoma was there with me that day and because of the way mommy was talking all the things that they were saying to me Ijoma started crying because i think at that point she was not happy that they were saying all that and honestly i didn't even know when i started crying in that film truth is we've come a long way a long long way guys but all the same walking into these premises today and seeing this building before every one of us is as i was saying it, this is amazing like it's amazing to me because in my head i'm saying <laughs> see let me tell you in this life whatever it is you're doing that you're sure of and you have god don't even stop believing don't stop walking you see this god i don't know how long he's going to take but he will always come through it is always an emotional moment when Sonia or any Uchenansi students speak about their struggles and how God saw them through, guiding them to where they are today. Tears often flow as they reflect on their past because it was never easy. Now, as successful individuals, Uchenansi and her family have become important figures in the industry. What was once a challenging situation has become a story of triumph, an example of how difficult situations can serve as a blessing in disguise. Imagine if things had gone differently. We may not have known about the incredible journey and achievements of Uchenansi and her four lovely, beautiful and hardworking daughters. Our story serves as an inspiration, reminding us that adversity can often pave the way for remarkable strength and success. I just realized that, you know, people used to always say this thing, but we don't know, or really, Sometimes, or most times, every disappointment is a blessing. I have seen how hardworking my mom is. She does not have two head. <laughs> so she's she's more like setting the pace. Pace. So she's she's she's. I don't know if my mother can be this house. Everybody like every um, person's dream is more like you're supposed to do better than your parents. So if my mother is building this kind of house. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, I'm even flagabasted. Let me speak one English. To those who still burden their wives for bearing only female children, know that Uchenase's story is not unique and she certainly won't be the last to face such adversity. However, her story serves as a powerful reminder that perseverance, love, and determination can transform any struggle into a testament of resilience and empowerment. Dear viewers and lovers of this channel, I hope Uchenansi's story has inspired you and taught you a thing or two about resilience and the power of love. As we wrap up, remember that every challenge holds the potential for growth and success. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below and share your support by hitting the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories like this one. Until next time, thank you for watching and I look forward to sharing another incredible journey with you soon. Peace.